depending on the character's roles, some liberties to keep the plot moving are unrealistic. What I'm focused on is learned behavior, something you see over time. And that is why I like series, because it starts to develop a character into a person and it constrains the writer into how the character can react. If you violate the spirit of the character, then you soon will find interest in the books will disappear. While the thoughts are inspired by the book, it does not imply the writer intended to inspire the thoughts I have. Paul Conlon had pressure from parents, girlfriend, and coaches that he finally broke. While he did the act of murder, it was the adults that failed the children in this book. Mr. Trask couldn't control himself, throwing tantrums like a three-year-old, and was convinced he was doing it all for his kids. Mrs. Twitchell was so worried about her influence, she never bothered to decide what she wanted to do, and feeling guilty, she rushed in to use influence to get her child out of trouble, and she convinced herself she was the perfect parent sacrificing for her child. The coach used the excuse of his kids to allow him to sell drugs. Administrator, superintendent, more worried about their jobs and can't bother to protect the children. All around this group of kids, the parents convinced themselves. They were sacrificing for their kids, but in reality, they were selfish and used the excuse of the kids to allow them to rob the kids of their childhood and future. Yet the adults insist it's the kids' fault, if only they'd listen to what they say. Sad part is, I've seen all the behavior in this book from parents in real life. Parents assume just telling kids all the right things is enough. Could it be that the reason some teenagers stop listening to the parents is... They have eyes as well as ears and can tell when actions do not match your preaching. Get offended all you want. It's the children that is at the mercy of adults. If you can't look in a mirror and admit what you did wrong, how can you expect your kids to? When the kids get to be adults and free of your hypocrisy, hopefully while they blame you for the past, what happens after 18 years old is up to them. If they know you're unreliable, hypocritical, and they still rely on you, then if their life sucks, that is their fault. You own the past, but they have a future. If they are like you and refuse to be adults, that is their fault. They can declare independence or keep relying on people that were never there for them as children. People do not hurt you because of malice. They just don't care enough either way to put your needs on the same level as theirs. Revenge or blame will only leave you frustrated and angry, turning your future into a hell. But that is your choice, not the parents. Hold parents accountable for what they did, but own what you do. While the thoughts are inspired by the book, it does not imply the writer intended to inspire the thoughts I have. The attempt is to start a discussion and get people to think about human behavior from the perspective of the closet. How this might lead to problems that make friends or partners or even business relationships difficult. I can understand why some would dismiss this effort. I find reminders in how the characters behave with memories of my own experiences and then explore that aspect. It's meant to start people to think. It is not meant to imply I am right. If you do not share the ideals with others, then how will you know if you're right? When talking, the focus should be on challenging and exposing your ideals, not in changing other opinions. That would only lead to frustration since the only person you can change is yourself.